UK officials have summoned Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg to testify before the UK Parliament. It would be the first governmental summon for Zuckerberg in the fallout of the Cambridge Analytica data leak and widespread concerns around user privacy. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders continues to dismiss reports that White House Chief of Staff John Kelly called President Donald Trump an idiot last year. She has also denied reports that Kelly is being considered for Veterans Affairs Secretary. No, he is not being considered as the VA Secretary. Uh, both the President and the Chief of Staff are very happy with his position that he currently holds, which is Chief of Staff to the President at the White House. Uh, and I would refer you back to General Kelly's statement that he put out yesterday, uh, specific to the comments, the uh, allegations about comments that he'd made. I spend more time with the President than anyone else, and we have an incredibly candid and strong relationship. He always knows where I stand, and he and I both know this story is total BS. I'm committed to the President, his agenda, and our country. This is another pathetic attempt to smear people close to President Trump and distract from the administration's many successes. Hundreds of masked anarchists and black bloc affiliates were arrested in Paris on Tuesday after rioters burned cars and smashed shop windows during the city's May Day rally. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met Shinzo Abe as part of the Japanese Prime Minister's Middle East tour. Abbas thanked Abe for his country's support for the Palestinian people while the Japanese Premier reasserted his country for the creation of an independent Palestinian state within the framework of the two-state solution.